The number one fastest growing business category in the country right now is, uh, is craft brewing, as um, you know, distilleries. And the first one of its kind in Muscatine was founded by a couple of guys who've been best friends since fourth grade. Uh, Thad Burkamper uh, represents half of that team. Uh, here is uh, with me now from Nehi Distilling Company. Nehi, is that a corn reference? That, Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, because corn is knee high by Fourth of July. By the Fourth or taller, right? Yeah, yes, that's right. Yes. So you and so so tell me about your partner and your and your wives who got together with this idea. So Jeremy and I have been best friends since fourth grade. Um, through that, however many years that's been, we've had a lot of you know what we should do type ideas that have all fizzled and were just bad ideas. And this one was the first one that stuck and uh, got some traction and now we're where we are. We pitched it to the wives because we wouldn't have been able to do it on our own. No. You and they got anything. us moving. You, you can't do anything without, without the spouse. No. For sure. Okay. So we're distilling. Corn is the base. Yes. And you're making vodka. We are. Just at this point? For the time being, okay. yes. We have these two vodkas. We have our 80 proof and our B100 proof. B100. And that's with our collaboration with B100, the radio station. Our friends from the radio station, B100. That's very clever. Thank who, you. Who came up with the uh, Connor Kenny. I've got to give him the credit for okay. that. Okay. All right. B100 proof. So what is it about vodka? Do we not have enough vodkas out there? Obviously uh, not. There, there, there must not be. No. Actually, to that point, over the next several months and into the spring and summer, we're going to be pitching out uh, five new different flavors as well. Oh, flavored, flavored vodka. Yes, that, ma'am. That, that's a hot uh, commodity, oh, yeah. isn't yeah. it? Yes. People like to do mixers. Well, I think we should try it. Absolutely. And then we'll look at other things about what you do. So what what am I looking at here? This is our 80-proof vodka with a little bit of lemonade in it. With a little bit of lemonade. Yep. I like the vodka lemonades. Mm -hmm. It's very nice. People love the vodka because it mixes with everything. Yes, absolutely. Very well. So what, tell me about what you do differently in your vodka that you think makes it stand out. Um, our filtering and proofing process kicks out a vodka that, is, uh, that has almost no bite at the tail end of it hmm. and is almost uh, fruity or a sweet sensation at the I'll end. I'll be the judge of that. Yeah, I'm just it, kidding. Do it. Oh, I, I, was, I, oh, I was so excited. <laughs> you, you know, <laughs> yeah. I would off camera maybe, <laughs> but I, I just wanted to, well, you can't, that's the thing with vodka, you can't really smell it, can you? Right. Yeah. I'm just gonna put a little in the cap because yeah. I want to taste it that way. Do it because I, I do enjoy a vodka, and you're right; they're all real different. They're supposed to be super cold, though, right? I think I think we're good. Oh, that's good. <coughs> yeah, don't no, do no. that. No, it's fine. No, it's really <laughs> good. But yeah, it's really strong. Uh, I like your logo. It's got Thank the you. got the corn. Uh, who designed that for you? Uh, Dino Ferrer from, from Muscatine. That's cool. Knee high. Did you know right away? I mean, is that that just you thought that was no, going to be that's, that's the name? No, we kicked out a lot of names, and that was the first one when it was said that all of us kind of perked up. Okay. The four of us have done everything by committee. I mean, we, no idea keeps going unless the group is voted on it. Good. Best idea wins, and uh, um, majority vote wins as well. So. So there's your partner and the and the, and the girls, the yes. wives. The cute, cute wives. So tell me about also the, partners the, and, the, and your partners as well, of course. Yep. In the business, um, so we're looking at the the exterior and the interiors as well. It's, it takes a lot of equipment, doesn't it? Takes a boatload of equipment. Yep. Expensive stuff. Uh, yeah. One of them was a six mile or six hour trip into Wisconsin to get our cooker. Mm -hmm. So that was a mm -hmm. fourteen hour day, which was fantastic. How do you make vodka? Get, get the basic recipe, just of, of the process. Uh, can you? Thing. Well, our, our vodka, we source our base alcohol from GPC. They're premium, they're premium stuff. We Great. get their stuff. And then it's our uh, filtering and proofing process that really makes it what it is as far as taste and, and all of that goes. But for like whiskey, you break down corns at 195 degrees, you kick that down, you bring in some rye and some uh, barley. A lot of grain. You let that sit for a little while and then you kick that down, throw in some yeast and out comes what is in essence a beer, and then you throw that in the, into the stills, and the stills kick out a whiskey. How long is that whole process? That, you just that said? process is a day or two, and then from the stills they go into barrels, and barrels have to age until the flavor palette or the flavor, uh, whatever the flavor is right. Do you go to school for this? No. You just, you just, is there like the recipes online? No, or I, what? I I really really dig. Um, learning something I, I, I care at all about. Sure. So I've, I've gone deep into how, this, how that whole process works 
and the steps along the way where you can do tests for this thing or that. Has the starch been released? Is the sugar being absorbed? That type of stuff. Wow, it's like you're a baker or a yeah, chef. It's, it's, or a, yeah. yeah, well, and it really is. It is, it is a recipe. I mean, mm -hmm. if you follow the recipe and do it really well, anybody could do this, not legally, but <laughs> okay. the, the recipe really does um, set you up for success as long as you follow these very, very specific steps. Well, now for the business end of it, uh, you're in Muscatine, yep. your hometown yes, for all of you. Yeah. Um, and so you want to stay and make it work there. Absolutely. But you need to, to um, everybody's wondering, where can I get this? Yeah. So where right now can I buy a bottle of Knee High? This uh, is in a lot of liquor stores around Muscatine, Davenport area. I know we're in Clinton, Waverly. We're in a lot of places. The trick to that is mm -hmm. um, the liquor stores won't buy it just because we exist. They have to buy it because they know some sales are going to come out of it. So if somebody's looking for knee high, they need to go into their liquor store or call them, say, hey, do you have this? If you don't, can you order a case mm. or whatever? And then that liquor store, knowing they have a sale out of it, will bring our stuff in. It's campaigning fast. Yeah, it's, it's, it's uh, not difficult, but it's tedious. You know, honestly, if that, none of that happened for you, mm -hmm. could this survive? Uh, if nobody called? <laughs> no, not at all. See, and, and sometimes that's difficult for the consumer because we want to support, I want to support a vodka and a muscatine. Sure. But maybe I'm not going to call yep. a liquor store and say, I saw that on PSL. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no. I do. I hear that 100%. The trick is at our manufacturing plant, once it leaves to go to the state of Iowa, we're selling it to the state of Iowa, um, we have no say as to where it goes from there. Okay. The liquor stores from around Iowa get a hold of the state, say we want a case or four case, whatever, mm -hmm. and they then get them that way. So there's no way for us to push or to say, well, we want four of, of these cases to go this direction. Mm -hmm. They just get ordered when they get ordered. So people showing wow. up and telling the liquor stores that we want this, start stocking it, it's good stuff. Um, that's how we grow and stay around. Well, folks, that's what it's about. And uh, so Thad's here to tell us about it. A local guy with his friends and, uh, and his wife and his friend's wife. And, they, <laughs> and they've, uh, they've made this beautiful product happen. So uh, you're out on Oregon. Can people just stop by and see your place? You don't, it's not open like that, are you? No, we are right. a manufacturing place. Right, so we don't do tastings or retail out of that. You, you're not able to? Not yet. Someday you could. Maybe uh, that's a goal. Eventually, yes. Yeah. But um, you, you have a lot of this stuff made. Like, So if you start getting a run on this, you got we have enough? have a boatload. We are ready to go. A boatload of knee-high vodka to supply every store in the corner. Maybe a truckload. Truckload truck makes more okay, sense. We're not putting boats. That would that would be best. Uh, that thanks for what you guys have done. I think is a, a very special thing. And, thank you. Uh, and uh, thank you for explaining it as you have. And uh, and good job with the with the logo and the product and uh, the B100 uh, collaboration. That's pretty cool. Well, thanks for having us. Yeah. I appreciate it. Thank you.